Welcome back to Travel Show Live. I am Eric Hastings. And yes, every week we do this program from 5 to 7 Eastern at TravelShowLive.tv. Some of you may be watching at WABCRadio.com. There's a reason for that, because every week we also do a two-hour radio version of this entire program. Uh, and we certainly have a lot of fun doing it. You know, Travels is experiential, and it is supposed to be fun. But at the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, travel still has the ability uh, to be life-changing. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, I don't know if you saw this story or not, and I, again, it always makes me a little nervous to do segments like this because Hugo Chavez uh, actually took over a hotel uh, down in Venezuela. Now, I, I don't really even know what that means exactly. I've never heard of this happen before. So what we did is we, we actually sent down uh, Daniel Shepard uh, from the Vacation Situation Room. Uh, <laughs> He is going we to file feed. this report. I know you've been seeing his, his... We have the feed. We do have him. All right. Let's see if we... Daniel, can you hear us all right down there? What's going... Oh, there he is. Can you... Loud can you hear... and clear, Eric. Your voice oh. sounds amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. So what's the current situation right now, Daniel? What? Give us an update now. Things are pretty tense here in Venezuela, Eric. Very tense. You can pretty much cut the tension with a knife down here, or as they say in Venezuela... A machete. Oh, <laughs> a machete. Did he actually take over a hotel, Daniel, or what? I, uh, well, Hugo Chavez doesn't want to be known as just a country's leader anymore or a tyrant. He wants to be known as a hotel connoisseur as well. I, I see. I, have, <laughs> I didn't know that's true. All right, how, did, how did this happen, Daniel? Maybe, uh, that's the part where I'm a little well, confused last by. Last year, at some point, Hugo's life was changed by a movie some of you might know. Hotel for Dogs. Oh. Now, not just a movie for dogs, but also for Venezuelan dictators. I see. Uh, pretty amazing thing. He decided that he would take the next hotel he found, which happened to be this one, uh -huh. and turn it into not a hotel for dogs, but a hotel for people. I see. So it all came from the dog movie. Okay. I, I'm fine. Okay. I, uh, well, this I... isn't the first time he's picked up a, a hotel, Eric. Back really? in 2007 in Cacaracas, Venezuela, oh. he also picked up another <laughs> Hilton Hotel. Uh, I, he seems to be a fan of the Hiltons, Eric, and yeah. I, I have to completely disagree with him. I, I am not a fan of those girls. I think they are very bad for the young women sure. all over the world. They're just disgusting human beings. Okay. Though not as bad as the Hyatt sisters. Oh, the Hyatt sisters. Oh, sure. Okay, fine. I think we're getting a little off track here. Uh, why did he do well, this? Do we I, know? I talked with an expert, Eric, who, who told me that Hugo Chavez, by buying these larger hotels, might be compensating for something, Eric. Uh -huh. Now, as the saying goes, the larger the hotel, the smaller the Chavez. <laughs> now, I've never heard of that. It looks I... like Hugo is playing his own game of Venezuelan Monopoly down here. Uh -huh. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 pesos. Uh -huh. okay. Daniel, have you, have you spoke with anybody inside the hotel? Or... I did get a direct quote from the hotel manager here at the Hilton in Venezuela. Oh, my. And he told me... Uh, and if I may quote my as Venezuelan is a little bit uh, rusty. Sure. To Aries Quiero Oblibla, Lo Quiero Bonesta Sistro, La Rabolotaro, Hugo Balaturo. <laughs> Which loosely translate, as you know, Eric, to not cool, Hugo. Not cool at all. <laughs> not cool, Hugo. That's what it stands for. Okay, fine. Uh, do, we, do we know what his motivation what was behind that, Eric? What? Insiders are actually saying that Hugo is planning on turning his entire country of Venezuela into a Hilton hotel. Oh. <laughs> That's a drastic move, Eric, but kind of brilliant. I, I have to say, it's a very progressive plan. Yeah, I, we, we, we really have to go. You look a little bundled up to be in Venezuela, Daniel. I don't mean to, you know. Uh, well, well, as you know, Eric, uh, yeah. Venezuela is considered the Alaska of South America. Little no. Arctic winds and polar bears are just a few things you'll see what? here in Venezuela. But that's obvious when you're this close to the South Pole. Right. I don't I don't think you're by the South. I think Venezuela's on the equator. I think. I don't know. Uh, well, I, 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 I think you're wrong, Eric. Oh. Uh, the weather down here is uh, as unpredictable as Hugo Chavez. Oh. <laughs> All right. Very good. Well, Daniel, thank you very much for Our being thoughts here. thoughts and prayers oh. go out to the Venezuelan people of Venezuela. With Travel Show Live with Eric Hastings, I'm Daniel Shepard. To Eres Mi Amor. Eric Hastings. <laughs>
All right, that's creepy. What the hell was that? Thank you, Daniel. That is very nice. Um, I don't think he was in the Venezuela. I'm not sure. All right, we will. Uh, we'll be back here in just a second. <laughs> we have to. Uh, we have to take a break. I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. But uh, do you think he was really in Venezuela? I think he was. I'm not sure. I think he was. He was. You. You were. Uh, you know, wasn't that the Millennium I, Hotel I behind you? Says, I see. Daniel okay. Says, I buy. Okay, fine. I, I saw the satellite team. I, yeah. I saw the satellite okay. Team. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. But I'm saying. Okay. Sound looked to me like he was downtown. I think, but uh, very excited. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah. Fine. We have more to go. Is it time to go? Stop. All right. We'll do a quick break. We'll continue here on Travel Show Live. Stay with us. Yeah.